It's refreshing to speak to a student with a respectful attitude for a change. I'm grateful for your cooperation. I've heard you say those exact words before. It's obvious that you aren't being genuine with me right now, and you probably weren't being sincere in the past, either. Oh, no. I'm not falling for that trick again. I made the mistake of trusting you last time, but now I know better. There's not a single shred of honesty in your words. What are you, a broken record? It seems you're only capable of repeating one phrase. It looks like we're not going to get anywhere since you clearly aren't interested in having a productive conversation. Because you insist on treating this situation like a joke, this is a waste of time for the both of us. If you think you can get through life acting the way you've behaved today, you are sorely mistaken. <sighs> I hate to admit this, but in light of everything that's happened, clearly the right course of action is to expel the delinquents. I'm sorry that my stubborn desire to rehabilitate them has caused you so much grief. They won't be troubling you anymore. You're free to go. What do you take me for? Do you think I don't see what's going on here? I can tell you're just trying to blame the delinquents for your own mistakes. Well, it won't work. You can't just throw the delinquents under the bus every time you get caught misbehaving. I'm appalled that you keep trying to justify your behavior like this. Do you believe that mentioning the delinquents will magically get you out of trouble? If you think you can emotionally manipulate me, you are sorely mistaken. What a transparent attempt at a lie. The delinquents are not present at school today. You can't hold them responsible if they aren't even here. What? You... How dare you try to blame the delinquents for this? You know as well as I do, they're all dead. Nice try. Did you forget that the delinquents have all been expelled? Now I wonder if you were just using them as a convenient excuse for your actions. Would you care to explain why you're covered in blood? This isn't the first time I've seen you splattered with blood. I see a troubling pattern. What am I supposed to think when a student is repeatedly sent to my office while covered in blood? I hope you understand how concerning this is. No, that can't be. <sighs> I'll have to take responsibility for this. I haven't told them to stop carrying weapons because I thought they were only doing it for show and weren't actually going to use them. Ah, I see. The faculty member who brought you in here was completely convinced that it was real human blood. I'm relieved to hear that it was just a misunderstanding. I trust that this won't become an issue again in the future. You're free to leave. I'm choosing to trust you. Please don't give me any reasons to regret it. You're free to leave. As long as you don't make a habit out of doing this, there won't be any problems. You're free to leave. Do you think I got amnesia between this conversation and our last one? You already used that excuse once before. How stupid do you think I am? I won't fall for the same excuse twice in a row. Oh, no, you don't. You can't just use the same excuse over and over. That's it. I've had enough. I've spoken to the headmaster about you, and he's given me permission to expel you from Academy at my discretion. Under his authority, you are hereby expelled from this institution. Get out of my sight! E excuse me? Are you actually attempting to flirt your way out of this? I don't know who you think you are, but that strategy isn't going to work. Is that your idea of a joke? This is no time for humor. And if you were actually being serious, get those thoughts out of your head immediately. Of all the... Ugh. Not only is it completely inappropriate to say things like that, it could also get you expelled from school. It should be obvious why you're here. I'm disappointed to see you back in my office. I'm not surprised to see you again. You've become a troublesome student. I'm told that you've been exhibiting some disturbing behavior. What's wrong? You've repeatedly caused disruptions at school and frightened the people around you. What drives you to do these things? Deranged. Insane. Psychotic. These are the words that others have used to describe your behavior. People don't feel safe with you around. I'm deeply concerned. Is that really the reason for what you did today? <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that you feel you have to do this in order to keep yourself safe at school. I understand the desire to make your peers laugh, but you went overboard this time. In the future, don't take things so far, and there shouldn't be any problems. How stupid do you think I am? Do you honestly believe I would fall for such an obvious lie? If you're going to make up an excuse, you should at least put some effort into it. 
A child could see through your lies. I find it extremely disrespectful that you actually believe I'm gullible enough to fall for such a flimsy excuse. If you think you can weasel out of this situation by telling such bald-faced lies, you are sorely mistaken. You've got a lot of nerve telling such an obvious lie with such a straight face. You've been caught aiming your phone at a student's unmentionables. Start talking. Once again, you're here because you had your phone up someone's skirt. Oh, I can't wait to hear your excuse this time. You've repeatedly demonstrated that you have absolutely no respect whatsoever for the personal boundaries of other students. What do you have to say for yourself? But that's... such twisted logic. <sighs> it makes me sad to hear that you feel driven to such extremes. That's a relief. I'd hate to think that we had a pervert running amok at school. In the future, take care to avoid this type of unfortunate misunderstanding. What's the matter? Hurry up and say something. Oh, I understand. You think that staying quiet will protect you. Well, it won't work like that. What's this? The silent treatment? That's the sort of behavior I would expect out of a little child, not a young woman. You're embarrassing yourself. Is this what they call pleading the fifth? Your silence only makes this look worse, you know. You're not getting off the hook that easily. I'm sending you home for the rest of the day. You are hereby dismissed. I'm suspending you from school for two days. Hopefully that will be enough time to straighten yourself out. I'm suspending you from school for three days. I hope it's enough to make you reconsider acting like this in the future. I'm suspending you from school for four days. When you come back, you'd better have a new attitude. My patience is wearing thin. I'm suspending you from school for five days. You'd better get out of my office before I change my mind and make it an expulsion instead. As I've said, I'll take responsibility for this incident, and I'll forbid the delinquents from carrying weapons on school grounds in the future. You're free to leave. I think I'm partially to blame for this situation, so I'll let you off the hook. But I can't permit you to do this again in the future. As long as you keep that in mind, you're free to leave. It makes me feel sick to think that such behavior might have been the result of decisions that I've made. Promise me that you won't do this again. You're free to leave. I can see now what the true source of this problem is. I'll take responsibility for it this time, but you mustn't do this again in the future. Understood? You're free to leave. I understand how you feel, but you can't let it become a problem for the faculty. I'll take responsibility for this incident, but don't let it happen again in the future. You're free to leave. I feel as though it's my fault for creating an environment where you feel unsafe unless you're carrying a weapon. I'll take responsibility this time, but don't do it again. You're free to leave. I've been informed that you attempted to steal something that didn't belong to you. Can you explain this? You just can't keep your hands away from other people's property, can you? I was hoping you were going to kick that habit. You're turning into quite the little kleptomaniac, aren't you? I shouldn't have to tell you this, but out in the real world, thievery will put you in prison. Is that really the cause of all this? <sighs> well, I suppose I understand where you're coming from. I almost feel partially responsible. Well, that clears things up. It's a shame that a simple misunderstanding resulted in such an unfortunate outcome. Don't let it happen again, okay? What? How dare you speak to me like that? This type of conduct is absolutely unacceptable. You'll be punished for this. You went somewhere you didn't belong and wouldn't leave when you were asked to. What's the story? When a faculty member tells you it's time to leave, you need to listen to them. You understand this, right? Listen. You can't keep wandering around where you don't have any business. You mustn't ignore the school's faculty members when they're talking to you, either. No. Is that really how you feel? <sighs> I suppose I can't really blame you for feeling that way. How unfortunate. I see. I'm sorry to hear about that. I can let it slide this time. But in the future, please keep in mind that you'll only cause problems for others if you can't properly express yourself. You were spotted carrying something very dangerous around school. What were you thinking? After our last conversation, I thought I made it clear not to walk around with anything that could be used as a weapon. It's a big problem when a student keeps walking around school armed with lethal weapons. You're becoming a threat to the safety of others. <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that. I know they can be intimidating, but... That's really no excuse to carry around a weapon at school. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. 
In the future, to avoid this type of misunderstanding, simply inform a teacher about it instead of picking it up and carrying it around.